You always need to have the variable for which you are solving end up in the numerator if there is a fraction in an equation when solving. Also, it's often just easier to get rid of fractions as a first step and not try to multiply or divide with them in the first place. Here's an example of an equation with fractions. 3 fifths times the quantity negative 3 plus 3x equals 72 over 5. Instead of distributing the 3 fifths, instead you can multiply both sides of this equation by the lowest common denominator or the LCD of both sides to eliminate the fractions. Then this just becomes like all the equations we've been solving before. In this case, the least common denominator, if we look at the denominators, we have 5 and 5. So the least common denominator is 5. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5. What this does is this eliminates or undoes the dividing by 5 in the denominator leaving us with our new equation down here, 3 times the quantity negative 3 plus 3x equals 72. We then solve this multi-step equation like normal. We'll distribute the 3 to have negative 9 plus 9x equals 72. We'll add 9 to both sides to undo the subtracting 9. And we'll divide both sides by 9 to undo the multiplying by 9, leaving us an answer of x equals 9. Here's another example of an equation with a fraction, 3 fifths times the quantity x plus 2 equals 9. Instead of distributing the 3 fifths, we can multiply both sides by the least common denominator, which in this case is going to be 5. So what that does is it will cancel out the denominator of 5 and leave us with 3 times the quantity x plus 2 equals 45. We are then going to distribute the 3, which will leave 3x plus 6 equals 45. We have to undo the adding 6, so we'll subtract 6 from both sides, which will leave 3x equals 39. We'll then undo the multiply by 3 by dividing by 3, both sides, which leaves our answer x equals 13. Here's a different example of an equation with actually two fractions. We have 4 sevenths times the quantity x plus 9 equals 2 thirds. So instead of distributing the 4 sevenths, let's look at our denominators. We have a 7 and a 3. So the least common denominator is going to be 21. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 21. If we then simplify our fractions and reduce, it will leave us with 12 times the quantity x plus 9 equals 14. We can now distribute the whole number 12 to get 12x plus 108 equals 14. We're going to subtract 108 to, to undo the adding 108 to both sides, which is where 12x, plus, uh, 12x equals negative 94 comes from. We're then going to undo the multiplying by 12 by dividing by 12 both sides which gives us as a mixed number negative 94 over 12. Actually, as a mixed number is negative 7 and 10 over 12. Another example is instead of distributing the 1 eighth to the quantity x plus 1 half for equals 7 over 16, we can again multiply by the least common denominator. Now we only have to look at the denominator of 8 and 16. So we'll multiply both sides by the common denominator of 16, which will actually undo dividing by 16 and simplify the left side to equal 2 times x plus 1 half equals 7. We'll distribute the 2 to have 2x plus 1 equals 7. We'll subtract 1 from both sides to undo the adding 1, 
which will leave us with 2x equals 6. And then we will divide both sides by 2 to undo multiplying by 2 to leave us with our final answer of x equals 3. So whenever you have a fraction in an equation, you should think about multiplying by the least common denominator first so you don't have to work with fractions in the first place.